Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, today, recorded live on Twitch, as you will hear me interacting with the lovely people in Twitch chat, um, a scenario by our very own Telemonian Dan, who has just joined us in the chat. Ahoy, sir! Um, and this is one I'm going to call the Battle of the Tyrrhenian Sea. So the story is, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dan, uh, the story is that uh, the British failed to sink the French fleet at Mirez Kabir. Uh, they have escaped, which is cool, because that's actually a scenario for stealth. And the British have um, sent a reinforcement fleet to replace the lost Force H, which is presumably going to try and join up with the Mediterranean fleet uh, to take on those escaping French ships. However... The Italians have gotten word of this and have sent their own force to intercept. And my challenge is to try and cause as much damage as possible to the British fleet. Um, any survivors I'm going to have to uh, face again in a later scenario that Dan will write for me, uh, hopefully. So this is part one of a little mini-series. If you're wondering why Telemonian Dan is getting to have his scenario recorded first, it is because he is a Patreon. And that is one of the perks of being a patron. You get your scenarios recorded first. There is a link down in the description. Plug, plug, plug. Now, uh, I am, of course, using the new Alpha 9, which means quad turrets, if I want them. <laughs> which I probably will, because the Italian dual turrets and triple turrets look hideous. Uh, so we're going to go with the modern battleship. Uh Towers down. Ooh. What happens if I embiggen the ship? Okay. Alright. I kind of like that tower setup. It's funky. Uh, and I've just noticed there's no s spots for funnels. <laughs> okay. So we'll, go, we'll probably go for a thick funnel four in that case. Probably the only one that will fit. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I could, I could go for either of these two, but we want as much funnel capacity as we can. Hello, Val. Uh, good to see you. What's up? What's up is Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Oh, and Calman, thank you very much for asking me how I am. I'm very tired. I had a long day at work, uh, but otherwise I am fine. Um, ooh. Right, what kind of guns are we going to go with? They're all hideous. Uh, 14s, 15s. Uh, it's either good. Uh, I think we're going to go with 15s. Quads. Because why not? <laughs> um, why not just go for Truly insane number of guns. Eh? Just why not? Still have a little bit of a four weight offset. I don't think I can move anything further back. Uh. What am I going to make? Uh, so uh, this is uh, Dan's uh, scenario. Uh, where we are playing Italy. Um, just wondering. Now, wondering what kind of gun we can fit there. Fit a nine inch gun there. We can fit a nine inch gun there. What about, no, not a 12 inch. What about an 11 inch gun? Who can? 
15 inch gun, no. 14 inch gun. Could fit a 12. Um, could go for the 12. Fit 12s anywhere else. Oh, sorry, that's a center line. Potentially we could. And then we need an actual secondary armament. Uh, eight inch guns fit on those things? Oh, they do. Oh, lovely. That's a nasty amount of eight inch firepower we can fit on there. Very nasty. Okay. Uh, can get any six? No. Nope. Oh, I'll get some fives. Why not? Fours and that's it. Well, that's a decent amount of firepower, I think. <laughs> Twelve inch does count as main battery, yes. Uh, although they'll be on a separate, both those guns and that gun will be on a separate thing on the. So that's a center line, and those are sides. Uh, yes, I believe the 12s will fire at whatever the 15s are firing at. Rather than whatever the rest of them are firing at. Uh, I'm not 100% on that, but yes, I believe that is how it works. Uh, and there's no case made guns for obvious reasons. Right. Uh, let's get things set up here. Go with a balanced boiler. 24 knot speed. Get our maneuverability up. Pretty standard setup at this point. Uh, coincidence. Go with the sonar, why not? Autoloaders, advanced robot turrets. Oh. I've gone over. Hydro. No, nope, still over. Uh, can I get IT and D helps? Um, I'd rather have cheap powder. Uh, doesn't make much difference. Hmm. Bad if I go down to say juiced boilers. Oh, that actually doesn't help very much. <laughs> well, it does if I go to naturals, but that's going to be as slow as anything. Hmm. <laughs> 18 inch <laughs> AA guns. Uh, okay. I can't get everything I want. I don't like that. <laughs> nah, I'll tell you what, let's go for anti flood 2. And a little bit more belt armor. Heavy on the firepower of this ship. Yeah, there we go. Heavy on the firepower, but uh, and light on everything else. Very, very firepower heavy ship. Let's try it though. <laughs> okay. Our two battleships and three heavy cruisers, five destroyers versus the enemy who have four very large battleships 
Um, a heavy cruiser, two lights, and four destroyers. Okay, and we start pretty close. So, okay, yeah, that's our battle line, and then we've got these guys on. Follow these are the heavy cruisers. Yeah, these guys are the destroyers. They're also destroyers. So let's merge the destroyer group. I want you on screen, please. Will they actually no do that? Okay, yeah, they are on screen. Okay, and they are on follow. Lovely. Let's try out the new division system, which I have not done yet. Kind of hoping that they will not muck about. Actually, I'm going to put the uh, going to put the heavy cruisers on screen as well. Try and get those. Uh, try and get those uh, guns on target. Getting some hits to start with. Let's go and have a look at the British ships. Okay, there's two right up against each other there. <laughs> I mean, that's one way of sailing, I guess. Uh, let's have a look. One. Kind of like a double Nelson? <laughs> Don't know how else to describe it. The uh, turrets look quite small for the ship, though. I'm curious to see what caliber they're throwing out. Fifth, really? 15 inch? Oh. So, same caliber as us. Very interesting. <laughs> Opposite of a half Nelson, yeah, pretty much. Oh, hello. There's some uh, big flash fires there. This, I think, cruiser of some sort. It's absolutely getting wrecked by a 12 inch gun that was aiming at the battleship there. A lot of missing going on. Not sure why. Could hit on that destroyer there. Looks like she's going down. Maybe. The Oriole. Few bulkheads. Might need a bit more persuasion. I am liking the new divisions though. I am liking that very much. Hey there, Sun the Sky. Oh, you've only missed it about 20 minutes or so. It's fine. I've only just started the battle.
Holy crap. The Duncan over here just absolutely evaporated. What the hell happened to it? Oh, it got hit by a torpedo. From a destroyer. Three and a half thousand damage dead. And that's with anti torpedo five. Oh, the battleships have minimum bulkheads. <laughs> oh boy. Oh hello. <laughs> oh, this could prove very interesting. Minimum bulkheads usually not a good idea on a battleship. I am using the new quad barrel turrets. Four of them. Ready? Oh, lovely stuff. Uh, I wouldn't classify uh, torpedo sinking as a hooded, but uh, it certainly didn't enjoy uh, the experience of getting hit by that torpedo. Oh, we hit the destroyer with the torpedo. Okay, that's pretty funny. Kill that destroyer. There we go. Try and deal with their screens as best we can. Their battleships are hiding at the back. Yeah, I'm loving the new division system. Like, the destroyer's actually kind of sticking to the battleships. Going out, detecting torpedoes, launching their own. Getting in the way. They're probably going to die now. No? Avoiding? Nice. Nice job. That light cruiser is uh, in for a bad time. Yep, there goes the Southampton. <laughs> Dreadnought defeat is the destroyers. <laughs> Hello, that torpedo is coming a bit, coming in a bit fast, but I think it's going to pass to the rear. Oh crap! I just noticed we've got a whole bunch of torps incoming. Right there goes the vedette finally okay the medea is avoided i don't think the principe amadeo will but we'll see mm, no got hit on the arse didn't do a huge amount of damage 
nice good hit on the Conqueror at the back then. And missed. And missed. Kind of starting to punch through the screen. Their cruisers are way out of position. Oriole taking quite a lot of fire there. And dead. Cruiser, the Royal Arthur, uh, being quite bold here, I think. Whoa, Medea just took a couple of hits. Oh, uh, but he did get a torpedo salvo off the sneaky little blighter. Not before he dies. Here are those torpedoes I was worried about. Oh, cross taught. Okay, well played there by the AI. And I'm going to take two more. Ow. But I don't think they got much more in the way of torpedoes to hit this with. Lost one of our own destroyers there. More fire going in on the Conqueror. Tell you what, I'm going to order the destroyers to go from screen to scout. There goes the promote. Uh, smacked, I think. Oh, Rear Admiral Hadwick. Haddock, thank you very much for the resub, sir. Yeah, three months sub anniversary. Thank you so much. I, I can't believe it's been three months. Okay, the Medea, I think, is. Uh, yeah, moving back in the line. It's fine. It's pretty heavily damaged. Conqueror stunned to flood. more flooding hit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> huh. We hit him, please. Thank you. lose a gun on the Principe? No. Oh yeah, we did. The 12 inch. That's fair enough. Conquer it. Just... If you could hit the Conqueror, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. RNG time. Yeah, a little bit. Ah, flooding hit. It's what we want. That might kill her.
maybe. Nope, started to pump the water out. More flooding hits, please. Thank you. Now that's your killer. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Royal Sovereign's probably next. Yeah. That was a good start. I mean, my own battleship's pretty heavily damaged, to be honest. But uh, they are still afloat. I'm going to order the uh, these guys to... Oh, they're still on screen. Fair enough. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I was thinking it was going to be... Oh, by the way, uh, Rear Admiral had it. Congratulations on becoming the stream boss. Um, yeah, I I thought this was going to be really difficult. I thought I was going to lose a lot of ships, and I'd be asking you in part two, you know, um, please, and when I saw that number of 15-inch guns, I mean, they're running with 18. My ships have 16, and they have doubled the number, so way outclassed in terms of firepower. But uh, yeah, that, that one blowing up to a torpedo hit. All their screens are gone. Took out a turret there. I'm actually going to get the uh, cruisers to move in, I think. The destroyers are sending out the odd uh, torpedo salvo, which is nice. Engines damaged. Triple flooding. That might enter. Okay, let's use the cruisers as best we can. In fact, we're going to detach you. And you are going to retreat. But you guys increase the flank, and let's close in on that battleship. Yeah, the heavy cruisers have been surprisingly... Uh, did surprisingly good work. Uh, they're only seven inch guns. Um, but uh, as well, the battleships themselves did do a lot of work on the screens with all those eight inch guns. Like, there's like two heavy cruisers worth of firepower on those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm looking forward to part two. <laughs> of course you can, Rear Admiral. Uh, we're just trying to hunt down the Vengeance. Oh, uh, who just exploded. <laughs> because she got hooded. Oh, I missed it. Oh, damn it. <laughs> anyway... Thank you very much, Telemonia Dad, for that story. That was a really good one. Uh, I enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to part two. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, um, if you want to send me a scenario, uh, there's a link in the description to the Discord server. Uh, there's a channel in there that you can submit scenarios to. Um, again, if you are a patron, then you get a priority submission. If you come over and join us on Twitch, then you can watch me do your scenario live. 
Um, but otherwise, a like, a subscribe, a comment, all very, very appreciated. And I will see you tomorrow for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.